Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are joining for the very first time, my name is Jennifer Mentor and I'm a real estate agent here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, so before we get started guys, I just wanna make a full disclosure. I don't know what's happening with my hair today or tonight, it is a hot mess. There's nothing I could do. Like I'm telling you, there's nothing I could do to fix this. So this is what we're dealing with right now and I'm gonna wash and do all that good stuff tomorrow. So for tonight, this is what we're dealing with. Okay guys, so before we get started, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and click that post <laughs> notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I post a new video. All right, so let's just get straight to the questions. Okay, so besides the money, cause obviously the money is just, I would have to say just seeing all the beautiful properties and the beautiful homes, like I really love real estate. That and, you know, just meeting all the wonderful people along the way. Well, I mean, I've always loved real estate. Like I, I say that a million times, like I was always watching HDTV, um, you know, Flip House. I love watching like home makeovers, but I always just love real estate. And it's so crazy because I never really started thinking about becoming a real estate agent until maybe three, four years ago, but I was always into it. So, you know, a couple years ago, I was just like, wow, I would love to be a real estate agent. Like I would love to be able to, you know, show homes and la di la di la. Long story short, that's how it goes. The real estate test is four hours long and it took me the entire four hours to complete the test. I also went back. I used my full four hours, let's just say that. So, when I took the exam, it probably took me three and a half hours to complete it. And then I went back and they say not to change any answers. And I didn't do that. I did not change my answers, but I did go back to review just in case I made a very silly mistake. So it took me the entire four hours. I, I passed my real estate exam in February, but I, went and get i got my license in march no, no no i signed with a brokerage in march so and then i sold my house in august so five months it took me five months um to sell my first home eventually i do want to start investing in real estate so i do want to start like flipping houses building investing yeah Every single day is different. I try to make a schedule every single morning and go by that schedule as much as I can. Every single, when I say every single day is different, but um, I try to have a balance between waking up extra early, getting the work that I need to get done. And then once my kid gets up, I kind of work my schedule around what he's doing. I wake up super early in the morning and I write down my schedule for the day. Um, and I kind of just work my schedule around him. I try to wake up as early as I can to get all the work that I need to get done, whether it's, you know, cold calling, watching um, training videos or anything like that, looking at new houses that are on the market, posted on Instagram or Facebook. I try to do that early so that when he wakes up, give him breakfast, he'll watch a little bit of TV. Um, I'll get some work in. And then like, if it's time where he needs some outside time, I stop what I'm doing and then we'll play together. And then, you know, I get back to work. Whether I have to do phone calls for like three, four hours, he's really chill. So he'll, he'll literally just be beside me and I'll just give him, you know, work to do or something like that. But um, I, we just make it happen. Balance, guys, that's all I could really say. It's hard to work with kids, especially when um, he's not in school, but I pretty much just include him. So if it's something where I need to go to the office or something like that, he'll stay with his dad. I'll take care of what I need to take care of. And yeah, we just, we just make it work. If I wasn't a real estate agent, I would say I would be getting into acting. I really love acting. I used to do a lot of like extra work and stuff like that. I used to take acting classes in high school and actually when I got out of high school. Um, so I really enjoyed acting. And also I would probably have like a boutique, a little business. I do want to start a business 
with my sister. So stay tuned for that because we do have something in the works. Guys, I have an entire video that will be dedicated to introverts because I am an introvert and I just wanna let you guys know that you are not alone. But the reality of the situation, to be honest guys, you cannot be an introvert. Like, um, I'm not saying you cannot be introvert, but it, this business is not for introverts. Like you have to be outspoken, you have to be able to speak your mind, you have to be able to be direct, you have to be able to, you know, speak to people and kind of get out of your shell. So the video that I do have coming for you guys soon is more about getting out of your shell and overcoming being an introvert. It doesn't mean that um, you're all of a sudden an extrovert, but I'm just gonna show you guys ways to pretty much get around it. Okay. And I'm telling you, it's possible, but honestly, in this business, you really do have to put yourself out there and being an introvert is not going to help you in any way, shape, or form. Plan and educate. That's the word. Plan, guys. Make a plan. Make a, your daily to-do list. Check those off of your box and um, educate. Education. Educate yourself on the business. That's very, very important. I say this all the time i speak three languages i speak english creole and french my french is slowly fading away i'm not even gonna lie when i came to the united states i had absolutely no idea how to speak english guys and now i because i only spoke french and now i literally am slowly losing my french because i'm speaking english so much that i'm starting to forget my french i completely understand but sometimes it's hard to speak but um, I also speak fluently Creole, so yeah. I would live in Miami for sure, and eventually I plan on getting my real estate license there also. Selling Tampa. And just to throw in something, um, by the way, I do want to start making reaction videos to a new show that is coming to Atlanta. No, well, it's coming to the OWN Network and it's called Ladies Who List Atlanta. And I'm really excited for this show. I'm so excited for the girls and I will definitely be reacting to that show. It's only in a few days, so tune in for that. So my real estate influencer, I would say is Kira the Realtor. I want, I found her last year and guys, I'm not gonna lie, I have a tad little bit of obsession just because I just love how she's so authentic and she's so real and she came from the bottom. I love to see how she overcame a lot of the things that she went through in life and just to see her level up in the real estate world is so inspirational. I'm actually gonna put her link below because I think anyone who is trying to be a real estate agent, especially women, um, she was very motivational to me. So I'm just gonna share her with you guys. And yes, that is all for my Q&A for now. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to put them down below in the comment section. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got to know me just a little bit more. Um, thank you guys for watching and I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.